<clears throat> they always said I was the son of a carpenter. But I wasn't really the son of a carpenter. I was a um, wood engineer. I was a designer of wooden wooden steam engines and wooden and wooden stuff altogether. Wooden water wheels, wooden everything. I designed wood wood structures, uh, wood houses, wood supports, wood cranes, wood. I was big with wood. I designed everything with wood. Um, uh, we even had wood ethanol steam engines, even wooden steam engines, wooden steam pressure vessels. Uh, I also had clay pressure vessels and also some um, some clay wood pressure vessels and we did a lot of wood and clay and then later on brick because um, in order for clay you know to get the, to get sealed in we did a lot of uh, variants and types there's also some steam um, uh, or what they did was was they made rings of of, of um, of rock basically they chiseled rock to make rings and then I believe they used hemp or something and the weight kind of kept it kept the seal on it good and I think it was like a wax hemp seal basically wax and hemp um, mixed together that would form the seal and the weight would would keep it in and keep the pressure and and as and as the steam pressure vessel got hot the wax would um, would seal up the holes and they there was like a lip it like it had a lip and then so so the steam had to go down and then go out in order to leak and it would rather go up and push the piston rather than um, rather than go go out the sides uh, kind of like what, what's on the space shuttle basically kind of like that kind of stuff anyway I did a lot of that and um, <clears throat> and that sold really well um, I sold a lot of pressure vessels had a lot of people working on pressure vessels um, to make steam power and to run steam stuff and we were researching a lot of steam pressure stuff a lot of bamboo we use bamboo for the for the pistons a lot of trees for the for the water wheels you know trees were like shaft natural shafts so I had forests of each anyway um, people called me the son of a, of a carpenter which is like uh well not really I was an engineer a designer I designed wooden structures. I designed a whole wooden engine, basically, um, that had steam, different steam, what's called. And what it would do, and it would also, and then later on we tried, I was trying to do like like an ethanol steam engine where where, where, the, where the ethanol would, would get vaporized into a into like a mist kind of thing and it would come up and then go in and then and then a spark plug would go and then the little shutter valve would close, would slam close and basically it would slam that close and the piston would go down. And that worked. It actually worked. And I was like, yes! Um, anyway, and it was kind of like an engine, basically. But, um, you know, I mean, it, it's vapor, so not that, you know, just explosive kind of, sort of. But it, but it ran. And it was made of wood. And if you had a, had a line of these things, you could uh, run, um, run some stuff, basically. But they were expensive, and they were all carved out of wood. And, you know, you needed some big trees in order to make them possible. Anyway, um... So I did a lot of that stuff, and then and then I kind of changed my name. You know, I was Lucifer, Master Inventor, Grace Inventor of all time, and then I changed my name to, to kind of like uh, Jesus, I guess. I mean, I was like, oh, let's try something different. Anyway, I don't know. It's, it's one of those things I did, but it's silly. And then I changed my name maybe to, to just Brian. You know, I've, I've gone through a couple names. Uh, e, Westinghouse. I mean, I kind of like, of course, that was more of the company. Westinghouse was more of a company. And a group of people that rather than anything else, and also, and I had lots of other groups. You know, I, I messed, I worked with a lot of groups in my time. Um, I kept on. I love challenges. I love projects, and I kept on doing them, and kept on coming up against problems, and I kept on solving them. Um, for the different groups, groups. I mean, it's really more of a. I would work with this group and want to get this done or do this one, do something. And then I would be like, okay, and I would solve it, make a breakthrough, and solve the problem, or find a way of doing it, and then we'd it'd get done, and then uh, I'd move on to another group. Anyway, um, I have a long, long history, and it's basically um, what I was doing, you know, um, just inventing, making a lot of money. Um, like I said, the whole fishing thing is I had a foundry right there, and I and and I had a, a crew of people fishing for my employees that were making metal, and at the foundry. And for the miners and stuff. So, and I needed, and I was running out of ways to make food because there's also other people there that, that, that were hungry and starving and they needed food too. So I found a way, the nets, to, 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 to feed more people. 
and I gave some of, some of that away to the local people, and they started helping out and doing things. And, and you know, it was just, um, and I started using metal as a currency, uh, iron as a currency, because, you know, iron, you could you could cut things with it, you know, machetes, that kind of stuff. I was using bone, sharpened bone tools as a currency kind of thing before that. There might even be some co coins made of other you know, uh, bone or whatever, or, or jade or something like that, you know, you, you might find a lot of different forms of currency. Um, anyway, it was who I was, it's what I did, you know, I was a master inventor, I was this great person of legend, basically, and um, basically I was a really, 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 I was a pretty amazing inventor. Anyway, I don't know, um, either that, or there just no one had ever really tried, I'm not exactly sure, because... I mean, I came up against a lot of problems, though. At least a thousand problems. Probably more like two thousand problems. But I, but I overcame them. Although a lot of them, you know, I had help. I had not really help, but I mean, I had assistance. You know, people doing uh, tests for me. You know, I'd be like, oh, okay. And then I'd be like, okay, so if that's like this, then we need to do it like that. Blah 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 blah. And I would figure out, figure a way of getting around that one problem. Anyway, thousands of years, apparently, or hundreds of years, apparently, went by in my lifetime, which I don't know how. And I only count that there was really just that I was that good of an inventor that I changed that much in the world, in society. Anyway, though, but, um, <laughs> and people kept saying I was dead. <laughs> they're, they're like, you're dead. It's like, um, that person was working for me. That wasn't really me. They were doing something for me. And they lived their life, and lived a good life, and then they died. And, um, and I wasn't done yet. I still had 500 more problems to, to, to solve. Uh, that was just a problem I was, that was being solved for me. And they were, you, you know, I'd, I'd solve some problems, get a, set, get a factory set up, and be like, all right, guy, go ahead, go do it. Okay, if I need you, I'll call you. Or someone will, will, con will contact you telling, saying blah, blah. So then I'd move on to the next. And we kind of did this whole thing where, where people would, would know you know, what was me and what was me. Anyway, whatever. I don't know, it's relative. Anyway, though, but that's how I was this person of legend, and, you know, I was really Lucifer the whole time, but, um, and maybe I had some other names, too. I go by other names. I mean, I really wasn't, it really didn't matter to me what name I went by, and I solved so many problems that I was like, eh, you know, whatever. Anyway, but that's why it's kind of interesting, it's kind of funny when, when, when people, and the whole thing about the Bible and stuff, those were really just, you know, it's just logs, you know, it's just people writing down their personal experiences or whatever, and, you know, my people that were working for me. Um, a lot of people work for me, almost everyone, actually, at one point in time or another. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know, I wanted to do a lot, I wanted to bring a lot to, to the world, I wanted, I wanted to make life for my people a lot better, and I really thought I could do it. And I think I did do it, really, in the end. I think uh, I really did change life. But um, a lot of people can't rationalize it or understand it. But, you know, it's just who I was and what I was. So, anyway, I just want to set the record straight for the whole world and the whole universe. Basically, you know, what was going on back then, who I was, what I was doing, the fact that I wasn't a real person because, you know, there's a lot of story of, of well, he liked to blah, blah, blah and pee in front of everyone or... Or there's a lot of stories of, well, he liked to take his servants and, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's like, I wasn't really actually there. I was reading p reports. I was looking at pictures and I was fixing, adjusting things and telling my people what to do. You know, you know, they, they did basically wh what, what I told them to do pretty much. Um, they had a lot of respect for me and I had a lot of respect for them. And we basically worked and overcame problems together. You know, I mean... Um, you know, they'd be like, you know, I'd be like, okay, well, that, that looks good. Okay, maybe we can try it like this and do it a little better. Do some research on this side. And then they were doing experiments and research and trying out new things and trying to, and trying to perfect the, the science themselves. So, you know, along with, with my help as well. And they were basically just working for me, doing things, collecting money, you know, running society, running that town. You know, I mean, society is a big thing. It's not just a one-day thing, you know. I mean, it's a lot of work. And we, we, we really got a lot of success, you know, with, like, the ash concrete and the, and the concrete and the, the rocks and stuff and creating, you know, inventing concrete by accident, by, by, by heating up rocks and then, and then cooling them off or whatever and getting, getting that, that effect out of them. I mean, that's how it all happened. It was just one of my tests. Um, anyway, though, but, 
it changed it changed civilization, it changed the world, and that's who I was, you know, before. And then um, we get into whole Rodney and everything else.